It's August 30th. We've seen in recent readings that God has already told the Jewish people that their exile into Babylon will only last 70 years. Their children and grandchildren will indeed return to the land and once again worship God in Jerusalem. In today's reading, God reveals why He will restore the Jewish people to their land. God's greatest desire has always been that the nations will know that He is God. His priority is the redemption of all nations. By forsaking God's laws, the Jewish people had brought shame upon God's name, His reputation, and they discredited the very mission to which they had been called. And so the nations of the world weren't seeing what God intended. The reputation that they established in 1400 BC as the people of the great God that brought down Egypt, the world's greatest kingdom, was now in question. The nations of the world had less reason to seek after Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews. So Ezekiel reveals that Israel's restoration from captivity that is coming in 70 years will not be because the people deserve it, but it will occur so that God's name will be honored. By doing so, His plan for world redemption will be advanced. God will show the nations of the world that He has not abandoned the Jewish people. He will still embrace them as His instrument of world redemption. Their calling is secure. The world will indeed see God's purposes revealed through the Jewish people, and the world will indeed see that God is faithful to His Word. What we see from today's reading is that God is faithful to Himself. He is faithful to His Word. He is faithful to His covenant. Despite mankind's consistent and stubborn ways, God's grace, tenderness, mercy, and faithfulness is unfailing. Now here's today's application. Hopefully you've seen from this year's readings that God is consistently faithful to His Word. It is inherently part of who He is. He is faithful. Celebrate that reality today. God's faithfulness to His Word and to His promises offers forgiveness, hope, and encouragement for whatever you face. Now here's today's prayer.